video, you will learn how to determine the type of conic section by solving for its discriminant and satisfying some conditions before making a conclusion. We will enumerate these conditions later. Let's start this video with a question. Do we need to graph the conic section before knowing its type? Hmm. For instance, Let's say we were asked to determine the type of the following four conic sections below. Did you know that it is possible to determine the type of conic section without graphing it? It is possible by solving its discriminant and making sure that the numerical values of A, B, and C satisfy the given conditions for each type of conic section. However, it will be easier for us to solve for the discriminant if the equation of the conic section is written in general form. So what's the general form of the equation of a conic section? It's a x squared plus b x y plus c y squared plus d x plus e y plus f equals zero. In the general equation, a B, C, D, and E are the coefficients of the algebraic terms x squared, xy, y squared, x, and y, while f is a constant term. I devised three suggested steps you can follow to make determining the type of conic section using the discriminant and A, B, and C coefficients less stressful and easier for you to understand. Step number one, we need to identify the numerical value of A, B, and C in the given equation of the conic section. Before we do that, we need to make sure that the equation is written in general form. Please take note that there are instances that we need to arrange the equation and or convert it if it is written in standard form. Using the numerical values of A, B, and C, we will solve for the discriminant of the conic section in step number 2. In solving, we will plug in these numerical values in the discriminant formula which is B squared minus 4AC. The algebraic expression used to solve for the discriminant is located under the radical in the quadratic formula. Aside from the fact that it is used to determine the type of a conic section, did you know that a discriminant is also computed to know the number of real solutions to a quadratic equation? The number of real solutions depend whether the computed discriminant is positive or negative or zero. In step number three, we will interpret our computed discriminant. In our interpretation, we will see which among the conditions set by each conic section are satisfied by the computed discriminant. The coefficients a, b, and c are included in our interpretation and making our conclusion. If the b squared minus 4ac is less than 0, the value of b is 0, and the numerical values of a and c are the same, then the conic section is circle. Regardless of the numerical values of A, B, and C, for as long as they are real numbers, if B squared minus 4AC is exactly equal to zero, the conic section is a parabola. 
The first two conditions for circle are also true for ellipse. However, A and C should not have similar numerical value or A should not be equal to C. Finally, we will have a hyperbola. B squared minus 4AC is greater than 0. Now, let's practice what we have learned. Let's have the first conic section described by the general equation 9x squared plus 9y squared minus 6x plus 18y plus 11 equals 0. Let's see what conic section it will produce. Following the suggested steps, first, I need to identify the numerical value of A, B, and C. Using the general form of a conic section, I know that A is 9. Since we don't have the B, X, Y term, the value of B is 0. C is 9. D is negative 6. E is 18. And F is 11. I will only focus on the numerical values of A, B, and C because they are what I only need to solve for the value of the discriminant. Therefore, my given are A equals 9, B equals 0, and C equals 9. In step 2, I know that I need to substitute the given to the discriminant formula. Therefore, I will have quantity 0 squared minus 4 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 9. Following the PEMDAS, I will simplify the given. Working on the parentheses and exponent first, 0 raised to the second power will give me 0. Then, minus 4 multiplied by 9 is 36, then multiply by 9 again. Then, 0 minus 36 multiplied by 9 is 324. Then, 0 minus 324, therefore, the discriminant is negative 324. The last step is to interpret the computed discriminant and the numerical values of A, B, and C. Since our computed B squared minus 4AC is negative 324, and negative 324 is obviously less than 0, while the numerical value of B is 0, and A and C have similar numerical value, which is 9. Therefore, 9x squared plus 9y squared minus 6x plus 18y plus 11 equals 0 is a circle. Easy, right? Let's have the second example. We will determine what conic section is being described by the equation 4x squared plus 4xy plus 4y squared plus 8x plus 24y plus 36 equals 0. Following the first step, the numerical values of A is 4, B is 4, and C is 1. Now, I will substitute these numerical values to the discriminant formula. So, I will have 4 raised to the second power minus 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 1. Simplifying the given, 4 raised to 2 is 16 minus 4 multiplied by 4 is 16, then we will multiply 16 by 1. Now, 16 minus 16 multiplied by 1 is 16. Finally, 16 minus 16 is 0. Therefore, the discriminant is 0. Moving to the last procedure, since the computed value of the discriminant is exactly 0, therefore, the conic section being described by the given general equation is a parabola. We will get better by practicing. Let's have the third example. What will be the conic section being described by 2x squared plus 4x squared plus 8x 
plus 24y plus 44 equals 0? Let's find out. The numerical value of A, B, and C are 2, 0, and 4 respectively. Now, I will substitute these values to the discriminant formula. I will have 0 raised to 2 minus 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 4. Simplifying the given, I will have 0 minus 4 multiplied by 2 is 8. Then I will multiply it by 4. Now, 0 minus 8 multiplied by 4 is 32. 0 minus 32 is negative 32. That's our computed discriminant. Finally, since b squared minus 4ac is negative 32, negative 32 is less than 0, and b is 0, it could be a circle of, or ellipse, right? But since 2 is not equal to 4, or a is not equal to c, our final answer is ellipse. We are now down to our last example. What conic section will 4x squared plus 6xy plus 2y squared minus 4x minus 2y plus 43 equals 0 will produce? Let's solve. Considering the general form of a conic section and the given equation, we are sure that a is 4, b is 6, and c is 2. Let's plug this in in our discriminant formula. Quantity 6 raised to 2 minus 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2. I know that 6 squared is 36. Then, minus 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Then, multiply by 2. 36 minus 16 multiplied by 2 is 32. Now, 36 minus 32 is 4. For our conclusion, since the computed discriminant is 4 and it is greater than 0, therefore, the conic section that the given equation will produce is a hyperbola. Did you find this video helpful? For more Signian videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below and activating the notification bell. I'll see you all again in the next episode of Signayan. Problema sa Signayan is Sigmo na yan kay Mendoza.